Hello everyone, welcome to Concur Learning. I'm Lakshmi Kushwaha, your educator for Code 55. That is your human resource management, industrial relations. So as continuing our series for human resource development with the handwritten notes, today's topic is approaches of human resource development. Now this topic is important since two, three times the PYQ questions already being asked from this particular topic. The question asked in here is match the following. So it's like matching the approaches and the author. So you have to match the approach and author or there was a question which was asked, uh, which was asked like putting into the sequence. The approaches was given and you have to sequence as per the year they came into the existence. And there was a question that particular approach, particular description and you have to identify who is the author for this approach and which approach is about uh, this sentence is talking about which approach so these are the few questions which can be asked in the exam so let's start approaches of hrd right there are six approaches the first one is strategic hr framework integrative framework pcmmm that is your people capability maturity model then we have integrated system approach HRD scorecard approach, human capital appraisal approach. This is your PYQ. Number two times it has been asked. Integrated approach is your PYQ. And question is being asked. In the sequence, arrange the following approaches as per the year is your PYQ. So first is strategic HR framework. Before we move to this particular approach, let's understand what do you mean by strategic HR. Now, strategic HR means when an HR functions, practices, policies, etc. are framed in such a way or carried out in such a way that they are aligned to the strategic requirement of the organization or it helps to achieve the organizational strategies is called as the strategic HR. In simple words. अगर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का ऑब्जेक्टिव है कि मुझे आने वाले टाइम पे मेरे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को टॉप टेन में लाना है मार्केट में या टॉप फाइव में लाना सो टू ब्रिंग अबाउट और होल्ड दिस पोजीशन ये जो स्ट्रेटजिक ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ने बनाया है इस ऑब्जेक्टिव को अचीव करने के लिए जब ह्यूमन रिसोर्स Department या Human Resource Management as in functions अपनी policies को process को ऐसे design करता है कि वो strategically इसी organizational goals को achieve करने में help करते हैं तब हम कहते हैं that it is a strategic HR again with small example there is a company the company is right now performing HR functions it is just performing the functions like planning, hiring, recruiting, compensation and everything it is doing this function. It will become strategic in nature when it start recruiting, hiring, planning, compensating in such a way that it achieves the organizational objective. Let's understand this again with a small example. A, B, C is a company this company had made a decision of layoff why layoff because it want to either right size its its company business expansion which may require the shutting down of certain departments or it may not be doing good so in order to achieve this organizational's objective of right sizing business expansion or growth or to maintain its position in market hr department hr functions policies act in the same way so now it won't be simply doing the functions of planning recruiting or compensating but it would be recruiting it would be compensating in such a way that it will help in business expansion it will help in right sizing keeping this view of the organization so that is called as strategic hr management 
so first framework is strategic hr framework now we are studying the human resource development approaches means what developing the human resources what all approaches you can use what all framework you can use first framework says strategic hr framework means you will be developing the human resources in such a way that it is strategic in nature it means this development program or policies are strategically able to achieve organizational objective in simple language it aims to align the hr practices to build the critical organizational capabilities so every policies every function every practice of hr would be aligned in such a way would be held in such a way that it is only able to increase the capabilities of organization or it is able to achieve the organizational objective given by ulrich and lake in 1990 now there are four key roles of hr prof professional given by ulrich and lake these are management of the strategic hr nowadays there is a trending word called as hr business partner now what is this here when an hr person or an executive or manager act as an business partner to the organization is called as hr business partner now what is the business partner's role so let's say a person is a negotiation department of hr he is negotiating the salary while negotiating the salary he comes to know that the particular profile is very important but we don't have the budget for the same so this hr when he is acting as a business partner will approach the business or top management or higher authority and try to understand the organizational perspective that why this hiring is that important and what all challenges we are facing so when hr is acting as a connection between the practices and policies of organization and it helps the organization top management or organization strategies to align that particular role is called as hr business partner so hr business partner ka kaam hota hai ke alignment karna jo function hai practices hai jo bhi kaam wo karenge business ke hisab se karenge agar kahin pe issue hai तो वो एज एन सेंटर एज एन मीडिएटर उस प्रॉब्लम को रिजोल्व करेंगे सो दैट इज मैनेजमेंट ऑफ स्ट्रेटेजिक एच आर मैनेजमेंट ऑफ फॉर्म इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एच आर और एच आर डिपार्टमेंट इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी फेसिलिटेटर रिसोर्स एलोकेटर सो फॉर्म इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज मेकिंग श्योर वॉट एवर पॉलिसीज आर फ्रेम प्रैक्टिस आर बींग डन इट इज एक्चुअली द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर द फॉर्म इज हैविंग इज एक्चुअली सपोर्टिव टू दी organization strategy management of employee contribution your employees will be your business partner your employees or your practices functions would be able to align the organizational goals only when you align the individual goals to the organizational goals very very important so when individual goals are aligned to organizational goal automatically there is an alignment for that management of employee contribution in the form of workers participation in management suggestion is important management of transformation and change hr are considered to be as a change agent they are the one who prepare the employees to be ready for coming changes accept the changes be ready for uncertain situation so it's the responsibility of an hr to act as a transformation or the change agent when all these key roles are being played by an hr or hr functions or practices as an hr professional that particular approach of human resource development is called as strategic hr framework which is completely focusing on aligning the hr policies and practices to the goals next is integrative framework of hrd given by young and bowman the word integrative means 
कमिंग टूगेदर कोलेबरेटिवली इंटीग्रेटिवली एक साथ मिलके काम करना सो ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट अप्रोच ऑफ इंटीग्रेटिव फ्रेमवर्क से इज दैट दैट ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट अलोन इट के नॉट बी समथिंग विच इज स्टैंडिंग अलोन इट हैज टू बी एंड कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटरी और द इंटीग्रेटिव अप्रोच वेयर एवरी डिपार्टमेंट मैनेजमेंट टॉप मैनेजमेंट मिडिल मैनेजमेंट एवरी फंक्शन इज इंटीग्रेटिवली वर्किंग फॉर द एच आर डी right from the culture of organization policies and the structure of organization everything need to work towards the development so according to this approach there are three paths through which hrd practices can contribute to the business performances first building organizational capabilities again you need to develop the human resources for this improving employee satisfaction plays a very very important if i am satisfied with my work automatically my productivity would be high how you would be improving the satisfaction by participation by their involvement by proper compensation by proper motivation shaping in customer and shareholder satisfaction nowadays the company is known not by its product but by the customer satisfaction and the shareholder satisfaction so it's not only achieving the employee satisfaction customer satisfaction as well as the shareholder satisfaction plays a very very important shaping the customer is identifying the customer and creating the need for those customer and distributing it then comes your third people capability maturity model this was developed by critis and team this model actually came into the existence by a software company the purpose was actually to improve or help this software company to build up the the system which will improve the people management practice through initial repeatable defined manage and optimizing the level of maturity according to this approach hrd human resource development or any kind of system is successful only when it is repeatable only when you are able to define it manage it and optimize it something which is not repeatable something which you cannot use it again is of no use so here you need to remember the uh, full form what does pcmm stands for then comes before coming uh, af, before coming to this fourth one let's understand this two and then we will be doing the fourth one hrd scorecard approach in previous videos i have explained you what do you mean by hrd scorecard given by tvr so hrd scorecard it is a method or an instrument of alignment or it is to create a kind of link between the hr dimensions or it is something which actually shows how hrd functions are performing so hrd scorecard approach of the human resource development says using those hrd interventions those hrd interventions which will give you rise to the certain hr out uh, hr process hrd process which will lead to certain hr outcome which will lead to certain organization effectiveness and when this hrd matrix is created creating a scorecard for it that is representation using the hrd interventions in order to make a right impact should be a matured in terms of hrd system competencies culture business linkage everything is same this approach only says that use the hrd score use that visual representation use that analysis in order to develop human resource development human capital appraisal approach what do you mean by human capital human capital means the skills abilities 
knowledge, experience, age, dimensions, area. All this, the soft, non-materialistic things, the emotional intelligence, the capacity, the motivation level, something which is intangible, situated in the employees is called as human capital. So human capital appraisal approach actually believe that it's very, very important to have a proper human capital management. It means what? So if I have a person called A or B, A is having X, Y, Z skills and B is having A, B, C skills. In coming time, I will require X, Y, Z, X, Y skills, but not A, B. So I will train this A. I will train, I will manage this because this X, Y is the capital. This is the skills puzzle. So I will manage in such a way that it will help me to achieve the organizational objective. So human capital management is also very, very important. Given by Friedman, the human capital appraisal approach has five stages of human capital management. So when you manage the human capital, when there is a human capital management uh, process going on, it consists of five stages. Clarification, assessment, design, implementation, monitoring. And these five stages can be combined by five areas of HCM. A matrix of five multiplied by five is created using the different options or different combination of this five areas and five stages the human resource development can be done so five first combination can be clarification stage and recruitment second can be assessment stage and recruitment so creating this five to five matrix five multiplied by five metric and using or developing the human resource management or Developing your human resources. Last is your integrated system approach. So, Parikh and TV Rao, first and foremost thing that they said is, an organization should have a separate HRD department. And this HRD department mm -hmm. should be a combination of whatever approaches we studied till now. So, according to them, an HRD department should be strategic in nature. That is Ulrich and Dave's approach. It should actually start with strategic alignment. Another, it should focus on integrated approach. All departments working together. Then it should use HRD scorecard, HRD culture. It should focus on human capital management. And of course, using the last PCMM. So they integratively said that HRD department should use everything. So they acted smart and gave an integrated system approach every system.